Okay, so this is what is going on today. We were not given notice of anything. I want you to see the filth on our cars. I mean, just how bad it is. It's so thick. It's underneath our cars, right? Because look at when we even drive over the space. And I want you to see that my car got keyed. It's probably by the chick in the red Mazda Miata. I don't doubt it, even at all. Across the whole head. So you guys want to talk about the damage it's done to the cars out here? You've never helped me with any of this. Look at this. We got our car completely dinged. You can actually see that it's moved into the point paint, right? So it's in the, it's actually pushed in. Okay, so that happened. This happened. We had somebody come out here and hit us on that end. And we've been hit from the front too. So I just wanna be clear about how filthy our cars are. And there's Abel parking in 923 space because, you know, this is what you did to his space. So he didn't have a park place to park in. These cones are going out sporadically. We weren't told about them. So we don't know anything about it. And the cat truck has been out since just after seven this morning. We got no notice of any of this. This is what a new ESA little animal is dealing with. Here's what the residents are hearing. This is nothing compared to what it's been like all day because they've been grinding. They've been using a grinder. There you go. That's the rolling guy. So they've got a few different machines. They Plus they removed the um, big trailer that was over here from putting in the solar panels. And that was a ridiculous thing that started at seven this morning. Um, there's the other machine, so there's two of them, see? No notice. We got... What do you do as a resident when you're faced with this? And your comp parking space has been co compromised. So what are you just gonna flood the office? Is that what we're gonna do during the, the pandemic? Is that what we're gonna do? Because these things are full to deal with when you're not prepared. I'm not buying anymore that you guys just aren't informed about any of this. That's the most ridiculous thing to, I believed it in the beginning, but I don't believe it anymore, believe me. So I just don't understand, but I have a very freaked out little dog, baby dog, and I'm really sorry that you guys didn't think enough of us as your residents to uh, give, give us a little warning, a little notice, which should have come last week. Um, This is upsetting. Help us. Right, Abel? Tell him, Abel. I already told her. I told her we all talked. I mean, she knows now. You take video of my truck? No, this. Oh, okay. Because look how filthy they are. Look at the cars. They're horrible. And that's and it's under the cars too. My mechanic looked at it. They don't understand. <laughs> They're not over here living like this. And they weren't here this morning after just after seven when it all started because they moved the big trailer over there. Mm -hmm. So and now look what they did to your space. So where are you supposed to park, right? So I told them we all just we all just got done talking and meeting about it. I told them we're gonna, we're gonna keep records. We're gonna let you know. So I hate this because I love Norma. Listen now, I love her. Oh yes. I do. I mean, she's the best thing that ever happened in this place. But this is inexcusable. This there's nobody that deserves a, a, a pass on this one. No, Does nobody gets a pass. Norma? Norma is. She's the manager. She's a good manager too. Oh, best one we've ever had. Huh? Well, I don't know what they're doing over there, but we have no idea when it's going to end because we were never told when it was going to start. So there's just, they don't have a rule of thumb here, it just seems. 
seeing how the resin's coming up, making sure I'm sending this in. So, here you go.